Hi everybody, I'm sitting here with the lovely Jess um, who's going to share a little bit of her testimony with us and just talk a little bit about um, her family and um, we're just going to have a bit of fun. Jessie, um, tell me a little bit about your testimony um, and how you came to be a Christian. Um, I was born and raised in a Christian family. Uh, it was the th I was the third born and I was the first girl. Um, from a young age I was put into Christian pre-primary school. I had an amazing grade R teacher, no, double no teacher, teacher Wendy. And she was a huge influencing factor as well in my walk with the Lord from a young age. So that year I was about five and I gave my heart to the Lord um, with my dad there, which was amazing. And from there... The Lord has been working in my life for ages and I was always Christian and the Lord was working in my life from that age but I found that I really grew once I went to a Christian one of the senior youth camps in um, Three Rivers and from there my relationship with the Lord just flourished and He just became more and more real to me and mm. it just really touched my life mm. after that camp and has been since. Ah, thank you, Jess. How old are you now and whereabouts are you in your studies uh, at school? Okay. Well, I'm 17 right now. I'm in grade 11 and that's young. Yeah. Which school do you go to? Oh, St. Mary's, um, DSG Clouth. Um, and uh, the fellowship that you're part of, um, tell us a little bit about the people and where you are in fellowship. Maybe uh, just tell us you know, where you started in fellowship and where you are now. Okay, so I grew up in Joburg, in the area of Gauteng, and I s began fellowshipping from a very young age because of my parents in Edenvale Assembly of God, which is part of Coastal Assemblies of God. And I grew up under the benches, as we always say, because we were literally always in church whenever, every Sunday. And as young, you'd always be under the benches playing with your toys and just around. And then until... When I was 15, we moved from that fellowship and went to Durban. And now I'm currently fellowshipping in Hillcrest, which is Heritage Family Church, which is also part of Coastal Assemblies of God. Mm. Yeah. Now, you've got quite a big family, Jess. Uh, I think you've got, um, well, you've got four, you've got three siblings from your mom and dad, and then you've got another three siblings that you kind of adopted into your family. Eh? Yeah. Just um, tell me what it's like being part of that big family and um, yeah, and the uh, and and the and the fun that you have. Oh yes, it's amazing fun. The house is never quiet. There are about six children in total, so three of my biological brothers and then three adoptive brothers to me, and it's never a dull moment. There's always running around, laughing, a lot of sports because they're all boys and so rugby is a very prominent part of my life and it's just always fun sometimes you'll just play with the little kids and have bible stories which is really nice and then with my older brothers they've been really sweet in bringing me they did teach me a few life skills which are really fun like my eldest brother taught me how to walk on stilts at one stage like they really had an impact in my life and it made me more sociable I think because mm. just so much noise it's no. always fun are you the only girl out of uh, seven seven kids in the house eh? yeah mm. yeah only girl but mm. it's it's nice because mm. I do I get my own stuff and stuff <laughs> that's a bonus so yeah. now your your mom and dad are very special people they um, you know, they've had a big impact on on all your, your lives um, mm. and they love the Lord and um, uh, just tell me a little bit about your mom and your dad. Um, where should I start? <laughs> uh, well, I think they've been married for about 28 years now. Soon in November they're going to be married for 28 years. And they've set a really good example for us. Especially my dad, He's he was the main disciplinary, but my mom was always supporting him. So if we did do something wrong, like... I don't know, just uh, not listen when he spoke the first time. Then we get a hiding. My mom wouldn't be like, no, that's not, you know, maybe she shouldn't get for that or maybe he shouldn't get for that. So like, they were she united. Just, they were united front, which I think was really good because then I don't think that it didn't cause division but mm. in our family. 
and um, my dad my dad has been amazing he's a man of my role models because mm. of just how he is he um, his attributes like always follows through and he's given me a good example mm. of how a Christian should lead their mm. life a true Christian yeah. yeah and your mom is that um, you obviously get your looks from your mom <laughs> and not your yes. well, a little bit from your dad man. Yeah, Mostly maybe from your mom. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm often told I look like my mom, we could be sisters. And I often get called on TV by the younger brothers because <laughs> they think, I don't know, they see mm. me from behind and think I'm my mom, which is fine. I'm very mm. blessed. Mm. And my mom is also amazing though. Mm. She's been she's been my best friend, but at the same time she's made it clear that when she's putting me in my place and disciplining me that she's here to be my mother and not my friend, which was a good thing because it taught me valuable lessons in life, but she's also been there for me to like, speak about any crashes that I've had or any problems, and she's just been open in there mm. for me. Yeah. yeah, it's a blessing to hear you say these things because I think when it's a lot of 16, 17, 18 year old girls, you know, there's a lot of um, uh, conflict with the parents, but I think the Lord's made a difference, hasn't He? Mm, definitely. And in the way yeah. your parents have brought you up in the Lord. Um, has made you the person you are today. Yeah, mm. definitely. I found that without the Lord, I don't think, yeah, I wouldn't be where I was today. I could have been on a very different path. He's really kept me. I just think of, because of my accountability to the Lord, and because I know He's always there, He's always watching me, and He loves me, so He wants me to do what's right and do what pleases Him, has just made me make a lot of better choices mm. in my life than and made me take a better path for my life. Mm. Yeah. Well, Jace, um, thank you for your time and uh, thank you for the blessing and your testimony. The blessing you are to the body of Christ and um, to us uh, as a family. And uh, I trust that God's going to continue blessing you and using you um, in His uh, work and in, and, in, and His ministry. So thank you for your time today and thank you for your testimony. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>